Are you interested in how you can run your very own AI personalization campaigns? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick run through on how you can get the leads and then add them into a cold email system. This is going to be a deep dive into how you can run AI personalization campaigns. So if you're interested on how you can use AI automation to be able to gain leads for your business or to be able to sell it as a service, well, this is the video for you. If you don't know me, my name is Dylan. I help entrepreneurs win the game of business by upgrading their operations and sales systems just like this so that they they can make more money, more profit with less payroll. So if that sounds interesting, let's get into it, shall we? So if you don't know what this is, uh, we are looking here at a make automation. I'm going to give you a quick run through of what all these modules do. So we have the Google Sheets row here, which we're going to be searching through the leads row. And then we're going to be generating a personalized message to go to the person. Uh, we're going to parse out the subject and the personalization, update that back in the sheet. And we're going to cycle through this process here as we loop through the things so that we can basically generalize personalized messaging for each of these leads. So this is going to be the way the system is going to work. And so the way that we do this normally would have clients that I work with that I, that I bring them in is I have them fill out a detailed report of all the specs of the type of ideal customers or ICPs or ideal avatars that they're looking for. And there's many different ways to get on leads, but I'm showing you one way to do it. And just to let you know, these are paid services. Uh, you do have to pay for services if you want something like this. But I wanted to hear it's Sales Navigator. And Sales Navigator, I just put in the term Social Media Manager, put in Garden Grove, California, and we got about 32 results right now. And so this is what we're going to work with for the moment. And as you can see, there's a list here of these different leads. And what we can do is we can grab this lead list just like this and we're going to want to bring it over to a service here like phantom buster phantom buster here is an awesome service uh, to be able to automate processes that like with linkedin and other types of services uh, so it's a very useful system again it's something that I, they might have a free tier uh, but i am on the paid plan here you go inside here and you browse phantoms you scroll down to the bottom and you are going to go over to sales navigator Scroll down and click Use Navigator Export. And we are going to be going into here. We're going to put that link in just like that. We're going to open this up and we're going to type in Social Media Managers. All right, GG. Took this trip to Garden Grove. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hit Enter. We got that. We've got this connected. Connect this to LinkedIn. We have everything. This looks good. We're going to hit Next. And you can see we can get up to 2,500 results, but just as an example, we're only going to do 32 just for brevity of the demonstration here that we're going to be doing online. We're going to type in social media manager, just like this, GG. And then we're going to hit save. And it's going to ask us next, when do we want to start it? Now, when you're doing things like this and you're actually stacking them together, you, you do want to make sure that you have one after the other like this because you don't want to be pinged in Sales Navigator. So you can go inside of here and click this Once button, just like that, and then click Save. And now this is going to go ahead, run, and launch. And now it's going to spin up, and it's going to be going through and gathering a lot of the details of the leads that we're looking through for through Sales Navigator. Now, again, there are so many different ways to get leads online. You can do Google Maps, you can do Apollo, you can do Apify. There's many other sources you can use to do this. This is just one method to show you what this looks like, because I know there's a lot of questions and curiosities about how these system works. So we're going to run through it right now. So we're just going to give this a hot minute to load up, and we're going to wait for this thing to get done. And then we're going to pop back when it is done. OK, we now have the download completed. You can see it found the 32 profiles. And if we go here to the bottom, we can download that these results. And one of the things we can do with this is now that it's been downloaded, we now need to be able to find the emails. And so we can go to something like any mail finder, and we can log into this as well. And if we go to bulk searches, one of the bulk searches we can do is we can click here, and we could add this in. And this will allow us to be able to gather. I'm going to go down here and hit process for social media managers. And so once this is done completing just like this, there we go. We can see out of the list of, what was it? It was out of the list of 32. We were able to find five fully verified, six partially, and 21 not found. So this happens with numbers of games of being able to try to find the information. So just for example, we're going to go ahead and we're going to download both for fully and partially verified emails. And this is going to allow us to give us a list to be able to work with 
inside of our AI personalization campaigns. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to go inside. I made a little folder here called AI cold email system. And we're going to go in. We're going to open up a sheet like this. And we are going to import the list of leads of the emails that we've gotten from there. And so let's go inside here, hit import, upload, browse, social media managers. And uh, we can replace the sheet. Click import data. And now we have all of this information uh, about all of the users. And so we can see all of the stuff that we have inside of here. And we're going to add two more columns, personalization and subject. So those are the two sections that we are going to add inside of here to make sure that we can add in some more details as need be. And so we're going to call this social media manager, GG leads, right? We're going to grab this sheet and we are going to grab the ID, the unique identifier inside the sheet. Once we grab the unique identifier, what we can do now that we have these lists of leads, we need to be able to personalize them with AI. And that's where the make module comes in place here. We can grab this, put inside the sheet ID, enter that in. It's going to be on sheet one. And if we go back to the social media manager, we can see that this is it says social media manager. So we're going to change this just to make things easy to sheet one. And when we go back here, we can get this refresh icon. We'll see that this is going to pop up with sheet one now. And uh, we're going to have this on personalization. And we say does not exist. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looping through this document and saying for each time this is empty, we want you to populate this up all the way up to we have here for 12. Okay, great. That's the information. We want to do this for, let's put 13 is the limit. And then we're going to have an icebreaker. And I'll just quickly run you through the prompt inside of here. So we're using an OpenAI module inside of here. And the way that you can get this is you can double click. You type in OpenAI. Go ahead and select a chat completion module just like this. And if you don't know how to do this, I had this available in my previous playlist across the 30-day AI agent challenge. You can go back and watch how to actually set up Google Sheets and Google Rows and all this. But this is going to speed you through the whole process. But once we do this, we're going to open this up. And inside of here, there's going to be a couple of prompts. One of them is going to be the system prompt, your helpful, intelligent writing assistant. And then what we do is we're going to give it a few shot programming. And few shot is where you just have the user and then the agent. Human says this, agent says that. User says jump, agent says how high. And so you train it so the agent knows what to expect once there's a few shots been thrown at it or examples. And so we say write an icebreaker in the subject line for a personalization cold email campaign. Use the provided data from LinkedIn as your context. Your tone of voice should be casual bar of conversation, very Spartan. Respond in JSON only and in the icebreaker with figure out to reach out and keep it in, the, in the subject line short and sweet. So don't write anything after the JSON, just that's it. It will break it. Don't include anything else. Now, we put this in here as a catch-all, but what you can do at the bottom is you can always tell it, don't do it in text. We want this to be in JSON format only, and I'll show you what that looks like. So we give it an example. So here's some user examples. Uh, we put in the, the full name, company, title, summary, all that fun stuff. And then uh, at the very end, company location, personal location. This is all data points that we are getting from here. We can see location, description, company information, and all of that. And so when we get this inside of here, we give that example. And then we say that the assistant should respond with this type of JSON. We want an icebreaker and we want a subject. And we're, what we're using here is we're using this to create spaces. And so we put, hey, Rob, love how you're focused on behavioral change and teams figured out the reachable to potential. Hey, I figured I'd reach out. So this is letting you know how to write an icebreaker, which is the top line of the messaging for the person. Now, again, we do the same type of example or another example with another user. Shane McFadden, we fit in some more details. If you're going to be doing this campaign, whether it's for yourself, I'd suggest putting in customized messages of your ideal target and telling the AI exactly how to respond. In here is just, just some examples in, inside of here. Now that we have that, we can populate the information with this user role. And with this user role, we create this JSON and we say full name and we, we're grabbing this right here. We go email and this is being populated, as you can see, from the side over here. And I'm going to select here full name just like this. And we're going to look for company name. And you can see that these were not matched up correctly. So we're going to go here, type in company name. We're going to insert company name. Title, go back here. We're going to find the title. Title, just like that. And then we're going to go for summary. Type in summary, title description. We're going to add in title description. And then we're going to do company location. We're going to add in the company's location. I want to make sure we get it inside of these brackets or quotations, I should say. And then we're going to do the personal location for the last spot. Person location. There we go. And now we have the location. 
All right, all of that looks like it matches up now. We're gonna hit save, hit run, go back and take a look at this. And we can see that right here, it missed the first one. I'm gonna hit pause one more time. It missed the first one because I was sitting on this section for the personalization. So I'm gonna could just wipe that out one last time and just make things a little bit more clear. I'm gonna go here, go to format, and we're just gonna clip these so they're not overlapping in our view. And I'm gonna run one final time and we're gonna double click the sides. So we can see here, if we open up these, we can see the titles now. Hey Zach, I saw that your social media wizard at Halo, your journey from customer service and managing online narratives is super inspiring to figure out how to reach out. And you can see right now we have already created a whole bunch of different personalizations within the time of just recording this live. And so you can imagine what this could do at scale for being able to generate customized personalized leads and subject lines. Now that once we have this and we're done and we're happy with it, we can go ahead and download this as a CSV. We've gotten that kicked out just like that as a CSV. And the next step we're going to be doing is we're going to go over to a thing called Instantly AI. Instantly AI is a cold email system. Now, I haven't covered how to actually set up Instantly in, in terms of you want to let it warm up for a little while, that you want to buy some domains, you need to get them ready and prepped and all that jazz. I might cover that in another video. But just to keep this one short and tight and to, to show you this whole process here, I have a tutorial here that we're going to be adding some leads into this Instantly campaign. I'm going to open this up. Go to CSV, go here, load this up, and I'm going to go down to the very bottom here. And we're going to want to make sure that we have personalization captured. And subject line is going to be a custom variable just like that. And so now we are only be going to be bringing in the email, the first name, last name, and company name into the system. Perfect. And you can always see, remove if there's any duplicates or, or anything else inside of there. And so it automatically checks it for you. We're going to hit upload these 11 leads that we have, big old email list. And now we're looking at this campaign section. And the way that this works is that there's these different steps in the process. And so when you type in hi, you can then insert a template variable like first name. So when we click first name, we can say hi, first name, if we wanted to. But what we have is we have instead personalization. And so we can do personalization and what's going to populate in, we're going to see what it looks like. It will look like, hey, Zach, saw your social media wizard. So we're going to be covering both the first name and the opening statement with this one, two combo here. And so when we have that opened up in there, you could say uh, something on the lines is I figured I reach out. So I do automations and AI agents for sales and marketing, got 10 minutes to chat. They reviewed your website and I think um, a system I built could be really helpful for you. For example, right, best. So this is just a really simple message here. It could do way better crafting. And a lot of times it comes down to the details of your messaging and what it looks like. Now inside your subject line, uh, you can leave it blank or for us, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna hit this variable button. We're gonna go to subject. Just grab this just like that into that in the subject. And now if we hit preview, we can see here that we have this already figured out and we can see it as a, it looks pretty decent. Might want to add a little space between that. Hey Grace, you're a rocking social media wizard. Check this thing out. I do AI and automations for sales and marketing, reviewed your website and I, and I think a system I built could really be helpful to you. Got 10 minutes to chat. Great. And then what you would do is you could do follow up steps, add in variables inside of here. You can put a little time delay behind this. You can also follow up with the name again, hi, then add in something like first name, just like that, and say just following up on this. Best Dylan. We could add a third and final step. Say something like I'm gonna leave this blank so that it's a subject line in the previous chat. And you could also do a thing like a spend tax, which allows us to do something like if you do something like this, hi or hey inside of here, what it's going to do is it's going to alternate between hi and hey, so that when you're sending out these personalized messages with AI personalizations, they won't all be the same thing. So I could do something like hi, hey, first name, last time, following up, no hard feelings. If not, let's keep in touch. Sounds like a high school breakup. All right, best Dylan. There you go. Right. And so we could see this and see what this would look like. 
hey, Grace, right? Because it's using the spin tax. The spin tax variable allows us to be able to alternate between different statements. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and launch this, we could schedule it, right? Figure out, oh, hit cancel. We want to save these just like this. So all these are saved inside of here. And we could alternate the days, one day, two days, three days, but that's fine. Inside of here, we can pick the times when we want to launch it, add another day, add a different time zone. We could add in a number of different accounts that we'd want to add inside of here. And these different accounts that we could use are ones that you'd need to preload inside of Instantly. And maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to get Instantly up and running. But you just add in whatever emails you'd want to connect inside of here. I recommend disable tracking so that you can have better deliverability. But if you want to see it, you can always enable tracking on the side. And you can do a daily limit of however many you want to send uh, a day. Since we only have uh, 12, maybe 10 is just fine. Just like that. And if that all looked good and everything looked awesome, and once I selected a lead, all you'd have to do is hit launch. And now you're off to races. And you have been able to be able to grab leads online, pull them across from the different systems, run them through an AI personalization automation to then be able to put them into a cold email campaign. Now, if you found a lot of value in this, and if you would like me to build a system like this for you, or you would like to have another type of AI agentic system or for sales or marketing, feel free. I will have a link to book me inside of the description. And if you found this to be viable, please give this a like and a thumbs up and a subscribe to let me know that I should make more content like this. Thank you so much. Have a blessed and beautiful day, everybody. Much love, and I will see you in later days. Bye now.